All right, in this video, I'm gonna be showing you the custom instructions for ChatGPT that just came out today. So custom instructions are similar to the system message that is available to developers in their API. So just to demonstrate that is in the system message, you're able to put in a message that all your subsequent prompts will sort of use as a weighted uh, message to consider in its output. So if I go ahead and submit this, you'll see within the system message, I said, always return JSON. And then in this, I'm just saying, give me hypothetical weather for New York. And you see without it giving an explanation of what it's doing, it's getting right to the point and using the system message to, to get it working. So I assume that is uh, more or less what they're doing under the hood for the custom instructions that they just rolled out to ChatGPT. So I'm gonna be focusing on the code generation example that they have here. So you can see here, what would you like to have ChatGPT know uh, about you to provide better responses? And you can say, okay, I'm a software developer and I use solely Golang in this example. Um, so I'm gonna be using a little bit of a different example, but you can sort of see here a handful of different options that you can use in different contexts. So a lesson plan, you can imagine how a teacher could use this. Say you're teaching a particular grade, you can say, okay, here's the grade level. Here's what I expect of all the different assignments that I you know, like help uh, generating ideas for, what have you, and whatnot. So you can see a little bit of an output here, and then you can also see that the plugins feature is available with this. So say if you are using a plugin often and you found that there are certain messages that are useful to input within the token window there, you can also include those for the plugins that you use. So there's a little bit more here. You can read through this if you'd like, but I'm just gonna go ahead and get going with demonstrating this. Okay, so the first thing that you're gonna do is if you head over to ChatGPT, uh, you can go into the settings and you'll be able to find this feature within the beta features. So if you just go ahead and turn this on, it's not on by default. Uh, so you'll just have to make sure to go into settings and turn that on. Then once it's on, you can click here and you can click the custom instructions. And I have some instructions here that I'm just gonna demonstrate. So in this example, I said I'm a software developer and solely use Next.js, React, JavaScript, and Node.js. And then within the responses of how I'd like ChatGPT to respond, I said, never use jQuery. When I ask you for code, please just give me the code without any explanation on how it works. Bias towards the most efficient solution. Also do not comment code and give me responses in full. So I used a little bit of that example that was shown there, but I also added in some things that I've seen and experienced from output. So whether it's giving me code within jQuery without necessarily asking for it, and then also uh, commenting code when oftentimes I don't want comments in a particular block of code that I'm writing. And the biggest one that I've found uh, that I'd like to include in most uh, uh, questions and queries to the LLM is to actually give me the responses in full. So what do I mean by that? Say I ask for a piece of code, let's say it's 25 lines of code, um, and it will, uh, as I'm working through and chatting back and forth with the LLM, at certain times it might not give that full piece of code back and it might just give uh, bits and pieces so sometimes you can sort of lose um, uh, pieces of your code if you're not careful so that's a little bit of context there and as you can see here you can use it on gpt 3.5 or gpt 4 i'll demonstrate with gpt 4 just a couple examples so if i say let's just try and trick it right off the bat let's say um, write me a hello world with jQuery. So not exactly a useful example, but let's just see how it responds to jQuery. So you can see, even though I asked for jQuery, it, it's looking to that uh, uh, a custom instruction and it's actually outputting it within React, which is something that I specified within those instructions. So sort of interesting, right? Now, other things, if I say, make me an express app, 
And you can see here, there's no text before or after. So it's getting right to the point, which is something as a developer, you wanna come in here, grab it, and then get going. So this is gonna be really useful. You can go in and edit them as you see fit. Uh, I have a pretty simple example within uh, what I showed you here, but the nice thing with this is you actually can put in a pretty decent character limit. I think it's 1500 characters for each of them, which I saw somewhere. Let me just see settings or rather custom instructions. Oh yeah, so you can see that there's a 1500 character limit. So I expect there to be some really good examples of these custom instructions coming out soon. But yeah, as always, if you found this video useful, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And otherwise, until the next one.